Okay, let's go for broke. 700 giga hash or bust? So yeah, I decided to screw it. Let's try it. Let's see if I can really hit 700 plus giga hash with the last firmware. I haven't tried from T-Swift. Right now, I am running the T-Swift 618 giga hash. I just started it back up right now. Brought it from the shed down here to the bottom. So it's still ramping up. But for the 700 giga hash, we should be looking at 280 to 300 watts of power consumption. Now, for my unit... That will probably be true, 280 to 300. But at the same time, remember, I'm also running my front cooling fan. Focus, focus right there. Thank you. I'm running mine through the 19 volt system. So once I ramp this all the way up to 12 volts, which I'm gonna have to, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We need maximum airflow if we're gonna try 700 giga hash. This is probably gonna pull easily 20 watts. So whatever his numbers show, at least for me, inflate them by 20 watts. So before we flash the firmware, we must stop the monitor. It'll screw up. So there we go. Now that's stopped. It's not accessing the KS0 Ultra anymore. Let's go on over here and let's select, let's try the 700 giga hash low because I've been lucky so far. Mine has actually worked on all the rest of the lows so far. So we won't be able to save a few watts here. Let's upload. Operation succeeded. Yes, restart the machine. Operation succeeded, good. Now, while we're waiting for this to restart, make sure you got yourself a power supply that can really handle this. Like this one, 330 watts, and we're gonna push this to the limit. So, let's wait for it to reboot, come back up, and let's see what a half hour does for it. Okay, it's been a half an hour. We're pulling 271 watts. We are getting 714 giga hash. Let me unplug this thing so you guys can actually hear me. Oh, that's so much better. That thing runs at 86 decibels when you're running it at full 12 volts and 5300 RPM or something like that. It's like 210 CFM. It's a proper ASIC fan, but it's loud. We might have something for that here real soon. Back to the numbers. If we take a look here, before we unplugged it, you can see all the ASIC chips, the max temperature was 51C, and the average was only 48C. We hit 714 giga hash. Yeah, there's your error. Uh, 30 minute was coming on up, and zero issues. And if we look at our temperatures, board temperatures in and out. Now it's always cooler, it's at 26C, but board temperature in was only 61C. Now, full disclosure also. So what I did is I moved the little tiny heat sinks, because that's the only thing that'll fit back here really tightly, is on the bottom of the MOSFETs where the exposed gold plating is. That's also a heat sink surface for them. And right where the MOSFETs actually are, we're gonna mount these instead. These are, let's see here, 14 by nine by four millimeter heat sinks. And we're gonna spread them out lengthwise, so hopefully it gets more surface area and should get more heat dissipation on both sides. Let me go ahead and get these stuck on. And there we go. We got these four longer heat sinks mounted on top of the MOSFETs themselves. You just gotta make sure you're not touching any of these capacitors, shorting them out. Underneath it's perfectly fine, so I have enough space to run it this way. But that seems to help keep it a little bit cooler. Without that extra, the board temperature will probably be around 70 C and it still would have been okay, but this gives it a little bit more heat dissipation and I love it. So as for the noise, I got a new product in, which will be my next video, that should encapsulate this whole thing and use quieter fans, and we'll test it all the way up to 700 giga hash and see if it effectively cools it at a much quieter level. Thanks for watching. Comments down below. Come say hi over in Misfit Mining. Link for that is also down in the video description. Take it easy, everyone.